Hello, this is Carol Lemke from VC Gurus, and this is part six of the Secure Zone series. In this video, we will be jumping into BC and going through what a favorite is and how to set it up on your site. To give you a basic intro on what we will be covering, we'll start off by covering what a favorite is and what you can favorite, how to insert favorite functionality onto your site, how to edit the favorite layouts and system pages, and then ending with how to actually insert it on your site so you can output a person's personal favorite list. So what is a favorite and what can you favorite? You can add the favorites feature to your site to encourage personalization. A favorites list allows site visitors to add commonly viewed items to their favorite list. So that the items can be easily retrieved and forwarded later. Visitors can add many different content types to their favorite list, including products, FAQs, web app items, news items, events, and media downloads. Once an item has been added to their favorites list, visitors can review their list of items by logging in. You do not need to be logged into a specific secure zone in order to view your favorites list. You just need to be logged in. The user is also able to remove existing items from their list while being logged in. When it comes to inserting favorite functionality, you will do this within the module templates. So whether you need to add a favorite option to a web app item, product, FAQ, what have you, you have to navigate to the site manager module templates. Once you navigate here, select what module template you would like to add this to. For this example, we'll add it to the news layout. From the tag insert drop-down menu, find the tag to add to favorites. Replace the instructional parts with either an image that represents how a person can add to their favorites list or remove something from their list. You can also replace this with text if you would like. When you're all done, hit save. No matter what type of content you want to add favorites to, you would do it in the same way. So for products, you would open up the large products, find the tag in the drop-down menu, and either add image or add text. It works the same way for each content type. To edit the favorites layout, go to Site Manager Module Templates Favorite Layouts. You'll notice that this layout has two forms on it, one for new users to register so they can add favorites and one for existing users. When a user clicks to add an item to their favorites list and they are not logged in, this is what they will see. If a user is logged in and they want to add a favorite, they will be directed to a system page. To edit the system page, go to Site Manager System Pages. Here, find the favorites and click on Favorites Confirmation Page. This is shown after a user has successfully added a favorite to their list. Again, they must be logged in. If they are not logged in, they will be directed to the Layout Template page for favorites. To insert a favorite, I would first recommend creating a favorite page and placing that in the user's folder, just to keep all secure user pages in one spot. Once on your page, you will insert the favorite using the module manager. Once on the page, go to Add Modules to Web Page and find Secure Zone. Select Display List of Items to Favorite slash Wish List. From here, you can choose to show only individual items, so all favorites for a web app, all product favorites, all news favorites, what have you, or you can choose to output all favorites. When you're all done, click Update. If we preview our example, we added it to News, so we will see the Add to Favorites link. Because I am not logged in, I will be redirected to the module template page, where I can either log in if I'm an existing user, or if I'm a new user, I could register. After I log in, I will be directed to the system page for the favorites confirmation. If I'm logged in and go to my favorites page, I can then see all the items that I have favorited. So I have two favorited news items, and once logged in, you'll see that the Add to Favorites link has been updated to the Remove from Favorites link. If I would like to remove a favorite, I would click that link. Again, I would be redirected to the Favorites Confirmation System page.